Hey everyone, it's Deacon082, and in the last episode of Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we hit this block which opened up a door in the bottom right of the room we were in last, and in this episode, we have fast moving rolling stones. I like to call them rolling stones even though they're not stones. But this one, you have to actually go against conventional wisdom and run past them. So where are we now? Well, we're in this almost seemingly optional area. And this is one of the trickier rolling spike puzzles in the game. You really have to time this right. And the timing is really hard to get down. You want to just sneak in there. Now you just barely have enough time to get the next one off before you can slide through here. And what do you get for doing that? Absolutely nothing that we couldn't have got before, but it takes us out down here where we can just sneak through, go all the way back down, and now we can proceed through this door in the top right of the area. But if you head south here, Luigi just advanced his Cyclone Bros, which I've been working at. And the clumps will occasionally give a 1-up super at the end of the battle. You can get more by using Swing Bros advanced on them, meaning you can get a ton of 1-up supers, which will be helpful if you see yourself dying later on. And that door in the bottom right just took us out to the very entrance room. It kind of goes full circle. So you'll go in this room here, and, well, we can hammer this and go through, where you'll find a bros block. And then up here, a chuckle bean. But that's not the only hidden bean here. Up top here is a who bean. And in many places in this area, you will find hidden who beans just on empty platforms. You'll also find a rally block, which I completely don't give a crap about. So through that door was completely optional stuff. Speaking of who beans, there may be a hidden one up here. Yes, there is. Could there be a hidden one here? No, there's not. But it's a good idea to check everywhere. Now you can go all the way down here, and I guess you could say we're in the basement now, where there's two more who beans in plain sight. Another who bean up here. So if you're having trouble with who beans for the star beans, this is a great place to pick them up. So lighting this fire underneath the pot will boil the soup. So now we can go back to the joke broth soup. And once you return here, you're going to come up here. And that meteorologist before said that if you spin on an updraft of air, a whirlwind will come up. And now with that whirlwind, we can go all the way back up to the top. I guess you could call it backtracking, but it's really forward tracking since we're going ahead in the area. You'll go across here. And we can now spin into this whirlwind and all the way across. Beat that, Jajora. Oh, there she is. You seem impressed. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you should probably just give up and go home. I say we follow her. We don't have much of a choice. Hmm. So we have a hidden chuckle bean here. And these glurps really kind of sneak up on you. So, what's coming up now is one of the toughest puzzles in the game. Probably the toughest. We see a switch up there we can't hammer. So, hmm, hitting this block, that should lower the gate. Oh no! It opens up this door. The brothers are separated, and they'll be separated for quite a while. So, get used to it. When they're separated, I don't know if I've showed this off, but the start menu, regardless of whether they're on the same screen, 
we'll switch the brothers around. I haven't showed a map of this area, but it's pretty huge. So we'll take Luigi. Now you're going to want to try to avoid battles when you're alone. Because you could get into a situation where the battle is almost completely impossible to win alone. There are a few of those. Uh, one I was in before featured uh, two scare troopers and two clumps with only Mario. And let me just say, that did not go well. <laughs> that, that would be an understatement. The Scare Troopers kept healing the clumps, and you don't get bros attacks, so they took forever to go down. Yeah. This room up top, you'll find a Simu block. And we've seen them before, but not in practical locations. And here's the map, by the way. A lot of rooms. But we don't appear to be that far from the top, so we'll keep going through here. Now this is the area where I had the trouble. That scare trooper got me into some trouble. And if you can't avoid them, you can always run. We can climb up here, but we can't go out that door. So we'll continue south, and what do you know? We can hit the Simu blocks now. So Luigi can proceed. Luigi already could proceed. But that just took him back where he was. If you take Luigi to the left, you can go north here, and there is another Simu block. So, generally, we're gonna take Mario. Oh, but the door is not open. This switch should open the door. No, that switch brings a barrel. So we're gonna take Luigi back, and we're going to make the barrel drop on his head. Or not. Actually, I'm thinking of a different one. That one is going to open the door. We can bring Mario through, we can bring Luigi through, and then I like doing this. So we bring them both to the Simu block, and we have a puzzle. Hmm, wow. If you've come all the way here, you obviously don't give up easy. Cool, whatever. So this, so this is a present from me to you. Press the A and B buttons to hit the blocks that come flying and score points. If you get 30 points in 25 seconds or less, I'll open this door for you. Cool? Hmm, I think we are becoming friends. This is identical to the block puzzle in Woohoo University! Except slightly harder. But slightly... It really isn't that much harder. Um... This is not hard if you can time jumping with both brothers at different speeds. As they do come faster at the end. Ah, 29. So we'll try again. And you can't miss the easy ones, come on. I'm missing them right at the beginning. Sometimes you can just get trolled because they'll spit them out really slow and you'll end up running out of time. But, I mean, there's no penalty for losing and you get like infinite tries. So, yeah, beat it with three seconds left. So now you can bring both Mario and Luigi up. And for Mario, we can go in this door, climb the stairs, climb the stairs some more, and, well, there are some candles. So what do we do with candles? We obviously light them with fire. Just think what kind of trolling it would be if Luigi ended up coming up here and he couldn't do anything. So what that will do is it will slide this green block out of the way. So with Luigi, we'll go through the door. This yellow floor can be raised by striking it from below. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to put Mario on top of that floor area. And that door will close so you can never go back in there again. And you're going to do some jumping there, and get a coin block. And I did that battle with Mario just because he's behind, and there weren't any tough enemies in the battle. No clumps is always good, just because clumps take forever to take down. And Mario grows to 36 without Luigi, 
So we'll boost defense a little bit. Ah, plus two. It was bound to happen. We can sneak by this glurp. And we have another Simu block. We'll bring Luigi down. And they're both here. Hitting that, we'll open the door for Mario. Mario can sneak through. Hit this block. And this is the one I was thinking of. Where Luigi needs to be about right here. So the barrel will fall on his head. But you want to remember that spot. So it was like right here. Oh, no, I know what you need to do. It falls in a different spot. So you'll need to hit it with Mario, run to the shadow, and get placed in the barrel. Once you go in this barrel, you can step on the switch. And there you go. Finally, after all of that, a bridge appears where the brothers can reunite. So, with Mario and Luigi finally reunited on the bridge after a very long period of time being separated from each other, we will end this episode here. Next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we will be continuing through Joke's End, catching up to Jajora, and hopefully finding Bowletta and Princess Peach. See you next time.